Good morning, church. Good morning. Born internet. Joshua chapter one, that's our subject. You know, there, there, there was a fellow that was a, a board member um, of mine in uh, Milwaukee when I run a mission in Milwaukee. Uh, I'm trying to think of his name. Uh, Jack Fisco. Uh, Jack Fisco owned a paint company and he was a bowler. Um, actually, I don't... He like he, he averaged over 200 in bowling, and um, but Mike, you know the type of Christians that that we were talking about about faith. Yeah, but he wouldn't go to no doctor. He wouldn't go to no doctor. He this this was his verse. Joshua 1 8, the one I sent out today. L let's just read. But but Jack Fisco, there's only one way Jack Fisco could have died. Let me tell you how he died. His wife said he was did his he was 80 some years old. He was doing regular stuff he always witnessed and involved in a lot of stuff. She said he, he went to the window, opened the window. Uh, he got in, he was dressed for bed, had pajamas on, he got in bed, pulled the covers over his head, laid his head down on the pillow, put his head over the side and died. That's the only way Jack could have died. He wasn't going to die of cancer in the hospital. He wasn't going to die of a heart attack. Now, of course, that's probably what they listed, but he just... Laid down, went to heaven. That's the only way Jack Fisco could have went in. That guy had faith, buddy. He had, he had a book. He's a funny guy. He 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 had a book. That famous book by Chuck Swindoll. I'm trying to think of what the name of it was. Oh, it sold millions of copies. He says, and you know how I am hard headed. And he says, he come to, he's in my office. He says, look, he says, I'm going to give you a copy of this book. He says, but you got to promise me. I mean, you got to promise you're going to read every word of it. I looked at it, I said, I ain't going to read one word of it. It's good. I know it ain't. I says, I don't like Chuck Swindoll. He ain't, he, he ain't my type of Christian. But he, why ain't going to give you the book? I says, well, I'm glad you ain't. Why would I want you to? I wouldn't read any. But that's kind of where we talk. But he had faith. <clears throat> the faith he had, I don't know why he'd mess around with someone like Chuck Swindoll. But anyway, that's that's the way he went. This is his favorite verse. When we get to verse 8, that was Jack Fisco's favorite verse. Now, after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord. Now, Moses, they say, Bible scholars, which I'm not, I studied them. I read a lot, but I wouldn't call myself a Bible scholar. Got a Detroit shirt on. Look at here, Detroit. Oh my lord, <laughs> Detroit shirt. You see? Yeah, <laughs> Detroit shirt. We're all out of Detroit. Now, after the death of Moses, see, Moses was said that that he was a. Uh, the greatest leader of children, uh, children, uh, his God's children, uh, people over three million. But see how God identifies him here. After the death of Moses, the great, ostentatious leader of the Jews. No, it says Moses, the servant of the Lord. You see, don't they? Moses was supposed to have been the greatest leader. Possibly that ever live. But it says here, Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spoke unto Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' minister. So, uh, look at here. You know where we are today, Joshua? We're in Joshua chapter 1. Turn to Joshua chapter 1. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua. Put a Bible in Joshua's hand there, Joshua chapter 1. Moses, my servant, is dead. Now, therefore, arise, 
Go over this Jordan, thou and all the people, unto the land which I will give thee, even to the children of Israel. Every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon, that have I given unto you, as I said unto Moses. Yeah, now, you remember Joshua, remember when they sent 12, 12 spies over in to, to look at the promised land? They sent a committee of 12. You know what a committee is? A committee is the unprepared. They do the unnecessary. They read the minutes and they waste the hours. That's a committee. You got to put someone in charge, let them go. Moses was in charge. His servant, right-hand man, Joshua, Moses died. Joshua took over. God always use a man. Don't forget that God will use a man. God will use a man. From the wilderness in this Lebanon, even under the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites, under the great sea toward the going down of the sun, shall be your coast. There shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. Boy, that's quite a promise, isn't it? Whoa. <laughs> See, Joshua is special. See, Joshua and Caleb, look at here. Look what the cat dragged in. Man. Cliff. I remember Cliff from down the street. Cliff, he's come in. He's come into 425. He used to have his girlfriend sit on his lap. <laughs> 425. You been out of town, Cliff? Glad you come see me, man. I'm missing you. We're in Joshua chapter 1, verse 5. There shall not be any man able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. As I was with Moses, so will I be with... Boy, that's a great promise. Woo! As I was with Moses. You know, Moses excluded himself from the promised land. Anybody remember how Moses excluded himself from the promised land? By hitting the rock twice. Huh? By hitting the rock. Hit a rock twice. Yep. What was he supposed to do with the rock? Talk to it. Talk to it quietly. Yeah. <clears throat> you know what he said? He won't be a big shot. All right, you rebels. That's what he said. That's what Moses said. He's going to be a big shot. He knew water's going to come out. So he just made it his way so he looked like a big shot. All, all, all God wanted him to do is talk softly to the rock. The water come out, but he lost the promised land. In fact, we just finished Deuteronomy 33 and 34 yesterday. God told him, I'm going to let you look at the promised land. You ain't going in. He went up in the mountain. He looked. And he died, no one ever found his body. You know why? Because I think they had to worship them. They had made an idol or something, you know, and made a mound around them. And like you're making for that dog over there. We make idols, right, Joanne? <laughs> we do. We make, we make idols and worship around dead dogs and dead people. And I'm not trying to make you mad, Joanne. I'm just telling you, that's, that's what we do. So I will be with thee. I will not fail thee nor forsake. I will not fail thee nor forsake thee. I will not fail thee nor forsake thee. Oh, say that with me. I will not fail thee nor forsake thee. Would you say it with me? I will not fail thee nor forsake thee. You know how you're going to get that kind of promise from God? Be a Joshua. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, see. Promises are conditional. Yeah. Just because it's in the Bible, you can't claim it unless you fill in the blanks. Huh? Yeah. You got to be on holy ground to not be forsaken. Because got to kick you to the curb. He needs to. Be strong. Verse 7. Be strong. And of good courage for unto this people. 
shall thou divide for an inheritance the land, which I swear unto the, their fathers to give them. Verse 7, ch ch verse seven chapter 1. Only thou be strong and very courageous that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded. He's all the law. Moses wrote the first five books of the Bible. They're called the books of the law or they're called the Pentateuch. The first five books of the law, the law of Moses. Someone told me the other day and they were wrong. They were wrong as could be. They read to me out of Ephesians falsely. They read to me out of Ephesians falsely and, and, and said that the law had been superseded. I says, no, we're supposed to keep the law. Did anyone ever get saved by keeping the law? Never. Abraham believed God and it was counted to him for righteousness. To him that worketh not but believeth on, uh, uh, Abraham believed God is kind for for by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. Uh, but Abraham, he was saved by faith. And he's, Abraham's actually the father of faith. He's the father of faith, Abraham. Do according to the law, which Moses, my servant, commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand nor the left. Thou mayest prosper whatsoever thou goest. Now this person told me, that Ephesians said, which the person falsely said, that Ephesians had grace, we're no longer under the law. The, the law has only been, the law has only always been one thing, a schoolmaster. person mentioned that to lead us to Christ. But you know, anybody in the old, nobody was saved in the Old Testament by keeping the law. There, there are preachers that say that you were saved in the Old Testament by keeping the law and you're saved by grace. And that's a lie. Come out of hell. Only way anybody's ever been saved since since the Garden of Eden, Adam and Eve, is grace. Been grace. Remember, God had to slew those animals and 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 take skins and cover them up. That's grace. The sin had to be covered. Amen. There had to be animal. You see, they tried to cover their sin with fig leaves. That's man's work. Amen. Got to have blood. Without shedding of blood, no remission. Only be strong and very courageous that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. I love verse 7. Verse 8, I, I texted out verse 8 today. This book, th this was Jack Fisco's favorite verse in the Bible, and he quoted it often. Jack was my friend. He's the one I just got through telling you about when we came in. The only way he could die, he couldn't die of sickness. He had to die, close the window, go into bed, getting in bed, covering up, turn his head to the side and die, go to heaven. That's the only way Jack Fisco could have died because he had that kind of faith. He never went to the doctor. He's 80 some years old. How can that be? Faith? Have you, do you have as strong a faith as Jack Fisco had? No. No. This book of the law shall not depart, verse 8, of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate thereupon day and night. At this part of my life, I meditate on the Bible day and night, day and night, day and night, day and night. Through the night, I was listening to the Bible. I would sleep a while. I had to get up, go to the bathroom. The Bible's playing. I'm, it's playing when I was sleeping. Amen. <laughs> that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. All. All. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. We want to prosper. But you see, the prosperity you think about is different than what God talks about. Man talks about prosperity as being uh, riches and cars and houses and gold and silver and precious stones and things of that nature. God's talking about prospering and winning souls. Because the only thing going to heaven is what? Souls. Souls. And thou shalt have good success. Let's read it again, verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate there day and night, 
Don May is a Zerg. Hey, Donnie, put that thing down to 70. For thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and thou shalt have good success. Have not I commanded thee? Be strong and of good courage, he tells us. Be not afraid. You see, when you trust in God, there's no reason to fear. No reason to fear. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. Amen. Anywhere with Jesus I can safely go. Little Sunday school song. I love Sunday school song. Anywhere, anywhere, fear I cannot know. Anywhere with Jesus I can safely go. Glory! Is that good or what? Well, glory. I just see a couple of you smiling, some of you shaking your head. <laughs> then Joshua commanded the officers of the people, saying, Pass through the host, and command the people, saying, Prepare ye victuals. That's just make lunch. For within three days ye shall pass over this Jordan to go in and possess the land which the Lord your God giveth you to possess it and to the Reubenites, and to the Gadites, and to the half-tribe of Manasseh, spake Joshua, saying, Remember the word which Moses, the servant of the Lord, commanded you, saying, The Lord your God has given you rest. You see, I'm, I'm at rest. I'm at rest. I'm on, I'm on a, I, uh, you know, I'm at rest. All you that we're in are heavy laden, says, I give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Yoke up with Jesus. He does the pulling, we do the resting. Amen? Amen. Jesus does the pulling, we do the resting. Amen? Amen? Why don't you do it? Rest. Amen? My friend Joshua, it's his namesake on this book. Amen. Joshua, I pray for you so much. I write up, I see you often. I see you often. And Joshua, you know, when I see you on Ridgewood Avenue often, I pray for you. And I pray God to bring Joshua rest. Because I see a troubled Joshua looking this way and that way and got a troubled look on his face. And I pray for you, Joshua. And I say, God, give Joshua rest. I really want you to have rest, son. I really do. I, I'm... I feel like you're my own son. I, I want you to have rest. You need to get rid of the tormentor. He's tormenting you. We need rest. We, all the rest we can have is in the Lord. Cliff, I like your hat. I like your hat. The Lord commanded you, saying, The Lord your God hath given you rest and hath given you this land. Your wives and your little ones and your cattle shall remain in the land which Moses gave you on this side, Jordan. But you shall pass before your brethren armed, all the mighty men of valor, and help them until the Lord have given your brethren rest, rest, as he has given you. They also have possessed the land which the Lord your God giveth them. Then you shall return unto the land of your possession and enjoy it, which Moses and the Lord's servant gave you on this side of Jordan toward the sun rising. They answered Joshua, saying, All that thou commandest us, we will do. Now, many times the children of Israel had good intentions, just like you and I. How, how many of you had a good intentions for God and made him promises but broke the promises? Have you ever done that like I have? Yeah. Yeah, we have. Shame on us. Came on us. We will do, and whatsoever thou sendest us, we will go. Well, uh, we lie just like them people do. Shame on us, and any good. And we don't have rest then. We got worry and distress, don't we? Yeah. According as we hearken unto Moses in all things, his law, so will we hearken unto thee, Joshua. Only the Lord thy God be with thee, as he was with Moses. Whosoever he be that doth rebel against thy commandment and will not hearken unto thy words and all that thou commandest him, 
He shall be put to death. Only be strong and of good courage. As we finished out Deuteronomy, what do you want? Blessing or curse? Heaven or hell? I want the blessing. Amen. Like your dear mother sent me yeah. in the text message. She says, Pastor, I want the blessing. <laughs> I choose a blessing. Choose a blessing, Gary. Michelle, choose the blessing. Choose a blessing. Joshua, choose a blessing, son. Choose a blessing. Glory. Choose a blessing, Mike. Choose a blessing, Pastor Mark. I, I choose a blessing. Amen? Amen. It's a choice. God does all the work. All we have to do, submit. Submit yourself unto the Lord. James 4, 7. Submit yourself unto the Lord. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Did you hear that? Submit yourself, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. We hugging the devil too often, huh? Yeah, we we'll hug him. No, don't hug him. Resist him and get rest. Amen? Amen. Joshua 1, 8. Jack Fisco's favorite verse, a man of faith. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and thou shalt have good success. Man. What a promise. Amen. Isn't that good? Yeah. Take heed. Take heed. Get the blessing, amen? amen? Not the curse. The blessing is heaven. The curse is hell. Hell. Let's pray, Lord. Thank you for Joshua. We're starting it out. Man of God. Moses, a servant, God's servant, took over. I need a Joshua around here, Lord. I ain't got him right now. Not that I say I'm a Moses, but I'm the leader like to have succession so often works have died because there's been no succession of leadership the churches have died the works have died i don't want that to happen here not that i'm anything or anybody but we've seen a little bit of blessing in my life and in my ministries here there and around help us lord save that sinner nearest hell you know if you're saved or not if you're not saved get saved today if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in thine heart that God had raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. The Bible says, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Would you do it today? Would you do it? I'm going to pray the sinner's prayer. If you're not really saved in your heart of hearts, never had a new heart, never turned away, repented, do it right now. Pray this prayer with me. Dear Lord Jesus, I believe you died for me and shed your precious blood. On Calvary's cross, rose from the grave the third day. Best I know how, with an honest heart, I turn from my sins to receive you as my Savior. Thank you for saving me right now. Amen. Amen.